Well, it's day one. Day one of the Joe Biden Kamala Harris administration. Today we celebrate. Tomorrow, we roll up our sleeves and we begin the long journey on the road to justice. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So can I just say, welcome 46. You know, America woke up this morning with a president who cared only about himself. But when America lays its collective head on the pillow tonight, we'll be sleeping in a country with a president who cares deeply about others. Mr. President, we have your back and we know, we know you have ours. And can I say to Madam Vice President, thank you for being a pioneer for my five daughters and for everybody else's daughter as well. So Joe Biden has already signed more than 30 executive actions and executive orders. For example, ending discriminatory travel bans creating important pathways to citizenship for immigrants, improving the environment by rejoining the Paris Climate Agreement, putting important health and safety measures in place, like a requirement to wear masks on federal property, increasing support for underserved communities, rejoining the World Health Organization, extending pauses on evictions, and foreclosures, and on and on. You know, for those who care about decency and fairness and equality and diversity, it really is sunrise in America. And for those who care about justice, let me quote part of Joe Biden's inaugural address earlier today. Quote, the dream of justice for all will be deferred no longer. Close quote. Now, he was speaking most pointedly about racial injustice because here's the full quote. A cry for racial justice some 400 years in the making moves us. The dream of justice for all will be deferred no longer. In those words, I, for one, found a battle cry. A Team Justice battle cry. Who is Team Justice? You know who you are. Team Justice has been growing for four years because of the injustice we have all suffered at the hands of a corrupt criminal administration. Team justice is made up of the people who demand accountability for what we've just been through. And we found a battle cry. The dream of justice for all will be deferred no longer. And we have a lot of work to do on the justice front, right? Justice for 400,000 and their families. Justice for communities of color. Justice for, for poor folk who don't get a fair shake in the criminal justice system. Think about it. How many pardons did Donald Trump hand out on his last day to poor folk, to people of color, to people who were not powerful, influential, connected? We have a lot of work to do. Today we celebrate, tomorrow we roll up our sleeves and fight like all get out for justice. Because justice matters. And as always folks, thank you for watching these daily videos. If you would like to more formally support our all volunteer efforts and become a member of Team Justice proper, you can go over to patreon.com, sign up to become a patron 
If you do, I will send you some Team Justice stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks. One of the projects that is uh, coming to fruition is we are authoring a letter to all 50 state attorneys general. It will have signatories from citizens of all 50 states urging every state to investigate and explore prosecuting Trump and company for preventable coronavirus deaths in their state. All 50. More about that project in the near future. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner. You can find me on Twitter all day and night trying to answer your legal questions at Glenn Kirshner too. Uh, so join us, folks, because Team Justice is just getting warmed up. As always, stay safe, stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.